You know, a man never gets to this station in life without being helped, aided, shoved, pushed into doing something the proper way. As the other enshrinees mentioned, a thanks to their families, so also I have to do that. My mother, who has always been behind me, pushing, shoving, moving, getting me to do things, trying to make me speak, really. She always used to say that getting a word out of me was like pulling teeth, and it probably was, because I don't, very, don't often say a whole lot. My family, of course, my wife, kids, thank all of them for being here, for being behind me. And I know your wife is always the most critical of whatever you do, but she always does it in love, so she says. I appreciate, appreciate that. Of course, my brother Leonard, who is here from Orlando, and his wife, my sister Millie and her husband, and my sister Shirley and her husband and their boys have come down from Pittsburgh. I appreciate that. Appreciate them being here. Also, the all the blue and white outfits out there with the Colts written on it. These are Baltimore fans, and as a lot of players who played in Baltimore during the time I played know what I'm talking about. Coming into Baltimore Stadium was coming into to an outside insane asylum. <laughs> for these fans, because they were always 100% behind us. And I hope that they get 100% behind the new regime to try to help and aid them in getting to the Super Bowl so that we can put more Baltimore Colts in this Hall of Fame. I won't take up a whole lot of your time. It's going to be a fine football game this afternoon and it's getting a little warm. But there are two other people that I wish could have been here. Frank talked about one of them, James Carey. James Max Carey and his son is here. Jimmy is here somewhere with his two sons. And I thank them for coming down. Max Carey was a great influence on me when I was in high school as a football player. He worked with me, talked with me, treated me like a son. And I can always remember Max saying, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And that's what I expect out of you, 110% at all times. I've always tried to remember that and give 110. Whenever I was playing, on or off the field, regardless of what it was, I felt that I was consistent and you always got 110% out of me. Then there was a newspaper man with my first football game in Baltimore. A little funny little fat guy over there with a beard sitting down there by the name of Cameron Snyder, who came over to me, noticed that I was nervous and said, John, I just want you to remember this, that the game you're playing today is a kid's game, but it's being played by men who out and do a job. And I thank him for that, Cameron. It's hard to remember everyone, very difficult, because as I said, a lot of people touch your life as you're growing up, in small ways possibly, some are larger than others. You know, it's just by a, a word, a, a congratulatory word, or say, gee, thanks for the entertainment you have given us over the years. All these are great things to remember, and I'll remember them. I'll remember this day, but I honestly want to be honest with you, that the players that I played with over the years, the coaches that I had, the Sanduskies as a player, Nutters, the Eggers, Bracey's, Marchetti's and Pellington's, Eubanks, Shula's, all my coaches, McCaffrey's, they are directly responsible for my being here. And I want you all to know that because I've never have forgotten it. I thank you very, very much for your attention and for the kind words and may God bless all of you.